You may have heard of ChatGPT. Everyone seems to be talking about it at the moment. This is an artificial intelligence tool and we can actually ask ChatGPT questions and it gives us some amazing answers. Now, one of the use cases for it is actually writing code. And what I wanna to do today is show you how you can use ChatGPT to write Python code, which we're gonna use for an AWS Lambda function. Now, the code might not always be perfect and it doesn't mean you shouldn't learn to write your own code properly yourself, you should, but this is a really useful tool, especially for those beginners who are just learning AWS and you're not familiar with programming quite yet. So what you wanna do is go to ChatGPT, so search on Google and you'll be asked to create an account and then you'll end up on this page, so chat.openai.com. Now I'm logged in and I'm gonna create a new chat and I've also got my, uh, I'm logged into my AWS account as well. So we're gonna create a function shortly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to ask ChatGPT to write Python code for AWS Lambda that sends a custom message to CloudWatch logs. So very simple use case. And let's see what it comes back with. So it's actually gonna give us an example and it's gonna write the code for us and you can often get instructions as well from ChatGPT. So here it is writing the Python code for me. And it's gonna explain a bit about the code. So you can actually use this as a learning tool as well. It might not be a substitute for a proper course but it's a good way to get started and play around with writing your own code. It will often give you instructions as well. And if it doesn't, you can simply ask it, ask it to give you some instructions. So, okay, we've got this simple Lambda function code. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this code and let's come over, create a function. I'll just call this ChatGPT. Let's change to Python as the runtime. Let's use the latest version and then just create that function. So I've copied the code, it's gonna create the function. The function will have privileges to write to CloudWatch logs by default. So as soon as it's created, we're gonna paste that code in. All right, so here we are. What we want to do is delete all of our code from the code source here and paste in the custom code that we just created. And let's change the message to, this is a test of chat GPT code. And what I'm gonna do is deploy and then run test. And what I wanna do is create a test event. So I'm just gonna call it standard test or STD test. And we'll leave the default values, click on save and click on test. Okay, so that has run. And what I can do now is go to monitor. Let's cl click on view CloudWatch logs. And we've got a log stream, let's go in there. And we can see this is the execution of our Lambda function. If I click on the info, we've got our message. So that's a starting point. Now, what if I want to provide a custom message as an event? Okay, so we just created an event. So that was a test event, um, which we created before. So what if I wanna pass my own custom message in? So I'm gonna give ChatGPT some further instructions. I'm gonna tell it that I want to pass a custom message using a test event in Lambda. Okay, and let's see what it does now. So now it's gonna update the code for me. So the code might need to be a bit different and it's also going to hopefully tell me how I can go about doing this. And here we go, it's given us some explanation of the actual code itself. And here we go, it's now telling me the JSON payload that I need for my test event. And if it doesn't give you the full instructions and you're not familiar with how to actually set this up, you can always just ask it to do that as well. It's given me quite a lot of information here. So this is really good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna copy this updated code, come back, let's go back to the code console here. I'm going to delete this code out, paste the new code in. We're gonna deploy. And then we're gonna to go to test, create a new test event, and this is gonna be called custom test. And I wanna come back here and I'm gonna copy this code. Okay, so let's copy that code to our clipboard, paste this in. And I'm going to say this message comes from a custom test event. All right, let's see what happens here then. So I'm going to test using this test event. So it's worked. So let's go back to monitor. 
and we go to CloudWatch logs, well, we're already here. So let's just see if we can refresh the logs. It might have gone to a new, yep, here we go. It's going to be this latest log stream. And if I go into the info here, we can see this message comes from a custom test event. So that's all I'm going to do for now. I just wanted to show you how to use ChatGPT. This is a really awesome use case for ChatGPT. There's so much more that's going to be done with this tool. But this is something that's useful for you now if you're learning AWS and you don't know how to program. So I hope that was useful to you and have a great day.